Jeremiah chapter 3 and verse 20 says, Surely as a wife treacherously departed from her husband, so have ye dealt treacherously with me, O house of Israel, said Yahabah Shimei Oshai. First and foremost, I like to give all praises on our glory to Yahabah Shimei Oshai. I want to give double honors to the apostles of great millstone that do rule well. Salutation to the men of the whole land, since they elect. This is your brother Makazar from the camp. Just want to do a little edification for the elect's sake. And the name of this lesson would be don't break the bond don't break the bond and as he said as a wife treacherously leave her husband because even a wife a wife not supposed to leave her husband a wife not supposed to pick up and say you know what i'm sick and tired i'm out to hell with you i'm gonna do my own thing get me a new man get me a new life no all right because guess what you'll be making yourself a harlot and believe it or not judgment will come all right but we're not here talking about the woman we're here talking about the men of the truth the men that calling upon the name Yahaba Hashem Yahushai because we are the Lord's purchased possessions we are the Lord's wife all right so don't don't treacherously depart from the Lord all right and we see a lot of men coming in the truth and leaving for whatever reason getting disenchanted and leaving Yahaba Hashem Yahushai and slowly falling away like a wife that growing tired of pleasing and serving her husband. That is why the scripture said a woman that maintained her husband is full of uh, reproach. Roughly paraphrasing. Alright? So don't let serving your harbor, Shami Aoshai, be a burden unto you. But pursuing to Psalms 40 and 8, let it be your delight to serve and to worship your harbor, Shami Aoshai. Don't be like the... the um, the Israelites that were dwelling in Egypt and Patros that basically said that now nah, we're not worshipping the Lord, we rather worship the Queen of Heaven. Worship Yahaba Shimia Oshai. Alright, don't break the bond. Don't break the bond that Yahaba Shimia Oshai called you into because this is your hope. This is your salvation. Alright. This is first Peter chapter one. Um, not chapter 1, chapter 2 and verse 9. It says, But ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, and holy nation, a peculiar people, right? That ye should show forth the praises of him who had called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. The Lord called you out of darkness, so you're supposed to be able to show forth his praise. But now, by departing, by treacherously departing, then the scripture says, um, her husband shall shall sigh in the street. All right. Basically, you're gonna make your husband the talk of the town by departing. Because one one time you was out there pleasing your husband, out there calling upon the name Herald in the coming of Yahaba Shmi Al Shai. All right, rebuking and reproofing and exhorting. But now you're out there partying. Now you're out there committing adulteries. Now you're out there smoking. Now you're out there doing all forms of of uncleanness and wickedness. And the people that once saw you praising the Lord now see you bringing the Lord to an open shame. And that is the reason it's going to be impossible to come back because you're putting the Lord to an open shame. And just like a woman treacherously parting her husband, the Lord, Yahaba Hashem Shai, He's not going to take you back when you leave and you put him to an open shame. He like, nah. He, he put you away once. You left once. He took you back. He had to die for you to come back. And then you're going to leave again? Nah, he ain't going to take you back this time. He's not going to take you back this time. So when you come to this truth, you hold on to this truth. You hold on to your husband, Yahaba Hashem Yahushai. And you stay with your husband. Don't break that bond. You find joy and solace in your husband. All right? Don't leave. Don't leave. Don't leave this truth. All right, it says verse 10, which in time were not a people exactly because he cast you off, but are now the people of Yahweh, which had not obtained mercy. And this is not talking about the Gentiles, because when you go to um Hosea 1, this is where Peter was quoting from. All right. It says, but are not the people of Yahweh which have not obtained mercy, but now have obtained mercy. You have obtained mercy now. So why would you, um, who would be with you that you should stop worshipping the true and living God? Alright, why you want to go back to, to the beggarly elements? Why you want to fall back into the world? 
why you want to break the bond that the lord created for both of you which is a spiritual bond then the scripture says a man and a woman shall become one flesh is a mystery you and the lord became one flesh why are you trying to break the bond to become the, the, the wife of another why because if when you when you when you stop serving your husband automatically you become the husband you become the wife of another you become the wife of satan when you break the yoke of your haba shimmy or shy it's either or there's no in between there's no in between it's either or all right this is ephesians chapter 4 and verse 3 it says endeavoring to keep the unity of the spirit in the bond of peace all right keep the bond of peace this bond of peace is what this word this truth all right keep your candlestick keep your candles lit keep oil in them all right endeavoring to keep the bond of peace the bond of peace means that you staying in this truth all right because the scripture selling um, i believe is 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 is, is, is um is colossians 2 is talk about you know let me, let me read it real quick Um, it's not Colossians 2. All right, I'm gonna look for it real quick. Oh, so I, 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 I wasn't already in the chapter. All right. I was already in the chapter. So it was Ephesians 2. It wasn't Colossians 2. My bad. All right. So this is Ephesians 2 and verse 12. It says that, that at that time you were without Mashiach, being aliens from the commonwealth of Mashiach, when you were cast off and strangers from the covenants of promise, having no hope, and without Yahweh Bashim Yahshai in the world. But now in Mashiach Yahweh Shai, Ye who sometimes were far off at midnight by the blood of Mashiach, he brought you back home by his blood. He he remarried you, re exposed you by his blood. All right, it says, For he is our peace who had made both one and had broken down the middle wall of partition between us. All right, so it says, What he is our peace. Talk about what it says. Let's bear my second. All right. Ephesians. Ephesians 4 and verse 3 it says, Endeavoring to keep the unity of the spirit in the bond of peace. It says, He is our peace. All right. He is our peace. The Lord, Yahabah Hashem Yahshai, is our peace. He is the one that, that, that can keep us in. And what, what is one form of peace? A form of peace is having. You know a sound mind in the time of trouble and also salvation that is how the lord is our peace all right the lord is our peace because he gave us that sound mind in the time of trouble and without him we're not gonna have that peace in the time of trouble all right we, we wouldn't we wouldn't have that peace in the time of trouble it says there's one body and one spirit so there's not two truths if you leave this truth there's nothing else to go to you go to another husband which is satan all right even as ye are called in one hope of your calling one lord one faith one baptism just one not two all right one husband not two it says one god and father of all who is above all and true all and in you all all right so don't leave this shoot don't break this bond that the lord yahaba hashem yashai created for you and him don't break it all right because if you if you leave it as the scripture says all they that leave it shall die all right all they that leave it shall die right this is ezekiel chapter 20 and verse 37 
it says and i will cause you to pass under the rod and will bring you into the bond of the covenant here's the bond again he made that bond the bond is the covenant that new covenant that he made with you to be his people and to be your god all right that is the bond that the lord created all right and i'll purge out from among you the rebels which is the, the purging process that happening the sifting and them that transgress against me i will bring them forth out of the country where they sojourn and they shall not enter into the land of israel and ye shall know that i am yahaba shimei all right so don't break that bond or guess what the lord will destroy you all right the lord will destroy you so you have to keep that bond don't be delivered just to be destroyed all right don't be delivered just to be destroyed This is Ephesians chapter 1 and verse 13. It says, In whom ye also trusted, that after ye heard the word of truth, all right, ye heard the, the, the wedding vows that he promised, the promises that he gave to you to be your God, for you to be his people, to save you and bring you into a broad place and take you out of the narrow, all right, to deliver you, all right, the gospel of your salvation, all right, this word is your salvation, so hold on to it. In whom also after that he believed, you were sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise, which is this bond. Don't break the bond. You were sealed with it. Don't break the bond. All right? Which is the earnest of your inheritance. With the word earnest, go back to down payment. And that is the, like, that is like the dowry. Uh, when the dowry, the dowry for the, for, the, for the virgin usually goes to the virgin. You give the father, but the father gives a portion of that to the virgin. All right, so you receive your down payment from the Lord. All right, which is the earnest of our inheritance until the redemption of the purchased possession, unto the praise of His glory. All right, so the Lord gave us promises and us and a security. All right, the chance of the hope of salvation, the tawa that we would ex be exempted from judgment in the time of trouble, that we will be delivered. All right, so cast not away your confidence, which have a great reward. All right, don't break the bond in your heart, Hashem Yahushai. And you women, don't break the bond with your husband. All right, don't break the bond with your husband at all. All right, this is the final precept here. This is Revelation mm -hmm. chapter nine and verse seven. It says. Let us be glad and rejoice and give honor to him for the marriage of the lamb is come and his wife had made herself ready. So make yourself ready for the marriage. All right. Make yourself ready for the marriage. It says unto her was granted that she should be arrayed in fine linen, clean and white. For the fine linen is the righteousness of the saints. So remain in them clean linen. Don't go off. Don't transgress. It says... And he said unto me, Right, blessed are they which are called unto the marriage supper of the Lamb. And he said unto me, These are the true and true sayings of Yahaba Shimia and Shai. So you'll be blessed once you enter into that marriage chamber. So don't break the bond. Don't break that bond with Yahaba Shimia and Shai. Don't go tired of serving your husband. All right, just do the work on hold on. We're almost out of here. All right, so with that, I want to give all praises, all and glory to Yahaba Shimia and Shai. We give double honor to the apostles of great mercy and do rule well. Salutation to the men of the hope and sense elect. Zimbra Makaza from the Trinidad camp saying Shalawam and stay strong. Shalawam. <laughs>